And now, our Entrepreneur of the Week, brought to you by Cadillac. Welcome back. Now is the time to showcase some of today's most successful small business owners, what they're doing, how they're doing it, and the struggles they overcame along the way. And this week's Entrepreneur of the Week, Lisa Price, has three locations in the heart of New York. Carol's daughter is the $10 million beauty care company with four storefronts on the East Coast. But 14 years ago, Lisa Price started this business in the kitchen of her one-bedroom apartment. I started my business as a hobby initially. I was very much into fragrance and I made my own fragrances. And that lended itself to making products and that lended itself to becoming a business. That's when Lisa's mom, Carol, encouraged her to sell her soaps and creams at church flea markets. I really didn't think of it as a business. It felt more like a family outing than anything else. My uncle was selling some t-shirts and I had an aunt that was making carrot cake and a cousin that was selling some floral arrangements. And I just thought of it as a Saturday afternoon with my family. And I had people calling, asking to get more. Um, I realized that it wasn't just a hobby, that it could be a business. Despite the overwhelming demand for her products, financing the grassroots startup was still a challenge. I wasn't in a position to take out any kind of small business loan, bank loans, because I had filed bankruptcy prior to starting my own business. So it had to grow organically. So the very first flea market, my investment was about $100 for my table rental and flowers and the ingredients that I needed to make the butters that I was going to sell that day. And I just kept reinvesting in the business as I did different craft fairs. And after six years of recycling revenues, Lisa finally gave birth to her first storefront in Brooklyn, New York. In 1999, when I opened the store, that was the first time that we came pretty close to a million dollars in sales. But business really took off when Carol's daughter teamed up with record executive Steve Stout. He assembled a $10 million investment team comprised of Jay-Z, Will Smith, and his wife Jada. This enabled the company to open additional stores, expand its product line, contract retail partnerships, and attract more celebrities. We were able to get Mary J. Blige to be our spokes beauty, and she loves the product and came and lended herself to us. This year, Carol's daughter is expected to earn $25 million in sales and while opening 12 new locations across the country while partnering with Macy's. Success, pardon the pun, never smelled so sweet. I try to dream bigger because that's what you're supposed to do, right? You know, you reach a goal, you're supposed to reach higher. And it, it's, it's hard to think of something bigger. <laughs> And for many of you on the West Coast, don't feel left out. Carol's daughter is opening up a fifth store very soon. Coming up next, Nana Botang. Ever heard of him? Odds are you've seen his work when we come back. 